Hello, I'm Gregory Andrews, Australia's Threatened Species Commissioner. I'm here in Yellow Box grassy woodland country in the ACT at Mulligan's Flat Nature Reserve and I'd like to share with you the story of the Eastern Betong. About a hundred years ago, Eastern Betongs became extinct on the mainland due to the historical legacy of habitat degradation, but also and primarily what pushed them over the edge was the impacts of foxes and feral cats. The eastern betong is one of 20 mammals that the Australian government has targeted for recovery by 2020. They have very expensive taste because they only eat truffles, but luckily there are plenty of truffles growing here and they're not that hard to recover. Betongs make nests in these clumps of grass and they are also one of the few macropods or kangaroo-like species that use their tail not just to jump around but to carry things. So they gather grasses with their tail and they make a nest in the grasses and they sleep there during the day and come out at night to find the truffles that they love to eat so much. Luckily they've held on in Tasmania and Tasmania has been generous enough to share their eastern betongs back to the mainland. Here in the ACT, the Australian government's investing $600,000 in a new expanded predator-proof area at Mulligan's Flat which is making it safe again for the eastern betong. By tackling feral cats and foxes, we can save it from extinction. So if you support eastern betongs, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video to show your support. And also, if you'd like, you can donate to the Brian the Betong campaign, which is helping make betongs back here in the mainland where they belong.